Head to toe assessment. Visuals of medical instruments, hospital setting. In the realm of healthcare, a comprehensive and methodical assessment is crucial to providing the best possible care. Join us as we embark on a journey of the head to toe assessment, a fundamental practice for every healthcare professional. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed healthcare professionals, and distinguished guests, welcome to today's session on the significance of a head to toe assessment in patient care. Before we delve into the intricacies of this comprehensive evaluation, let us take a moment to understand its utmost importance. A head-to-toe assessment is not merely a routine examination, it is a systematic approach that enables healthcare providers to identify potential issues and deliver holistic care to our patients. Through this assessment, we gain invaluable insights into both the physical and psychological well-being of the individuals we serve. So, let us embark on this journey together, where we explore the comprehensive nature of the head-to-toe assessment and its profound impact on patient care. Overview of the head-to-toe assessment The head-to-toe assessment is a structured approach that healthcare professionals utilize to evaluate the physical and psychological condition of their patients. It involves systematically evaluating the body from head-to-toe, ensuring no aspect of the patient's health goes unnoticed. This thorough examination allows us to address both evident and underlying concerns, contributing to a comprehensive understanding of the patient's overall well-being. By methodically moving through various body systems, we are equipped to deliver targeted care and interventions, ensuring the best possible outcomes for our patients. The Head Assessment We begin our assessment at the top of the head, which houses one of the most vital organs, the brain. The head assessment encompasses a range of crucial components that provide valuable insights into the patient's condition. Observing the patient's facial expressions helps us gauge their emotional state and identify any signs of discomfort or distress. Additionally, we assess the scalp for abnormalities such as lumps, lesions, or rashes. Furthermore, we thoroughly examine the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth, checking for any signs of infection, inflammation, or other concerning conditions. By paying careful attention to these details, we lay the foundation for a comprehensive head-to-toe assessment. The Neck and Respiratory Assessment From the head, we proceed to the neck, a region closely associated with essential structures like the trachea and major blood vessels. Assessing the neck for abnormalities is crucial as it can help identify potential issues that may affect the patient's breathing, circulation, or overall well-being. Moreover, conducting a respiratory assessment allows us to evaluate the patient's lung function and detect any abnormal breath sounds that could indicate respiratory problems. By auscultating the lung sounds, we can gather valuable information about the patient's respiratory status, aiding in diagnosis and treatment decisions. The Cardiovascular Assessment Next, we move on to the heart, the powerhouse of our circulatory system. The cardiovascular assessment plays a pivotal role in identifying potential cardiac abnormalities and determining the patient's overall cardiovascular health. We carefully assess the pulse, blood pressure, and auscultate heart sounds to gain insights into the heart's function and detect any irregularities. By thoroughly evaluating these parameters, we can make informed decisions regarding treatment, medication adjustments, or further diagnostic investigations to ensure the patient's cardiovascular well-being. The Abdominal Assessment Moving down the body, we reach the abdomen, a region housing vital organs responsible for digestion, elimination, and more. The Abdominal Assessment is a crucial part of the head-to-toe evaluation, providing valuable information about the patient's gastrointestinal health. Through careful inspection, palpation, and auscultation of the abdomen, we can identify potential abnormalities, tenderness, or changes in bowel sounds. This assessment aids in diagnosing gastrointestinal disorders and guides appropriate interventions or referrals to specialists when necessary. The Extremities Assessment As we progress, we reach the extremities, the arms and legs essential for mobility and functioning. Assessing the extremities is vital as it allows us to evaluate the patient's range of motion, muscle strength, and identify any signs of edema or abnormalities. By conducting a thorough examination of the extremities, we can detect potential musculoskeletal or vascular issues that may impact the patient's mobility and overall well-being. This assessment helps us develop targeted interventions and rehabilitation plans to enhance the patient's quality of life. 
the neurological assessment. Finally, we conclude our head-to-toe assessment with a comprehensive evaluation of the nervous system. The neurological assessment is crucial in understanding the patient's brain function, motor abilities, and sensory responses. By assessing the patient's level of consciousness, motor function, sensory responses, and reflexes, we gain insights into potential neurological issues that require further investigation or intervention. This comprehensive evaluation allows us to tailor our care to the specific needs of each patient, ensuring their neurological well-being. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos and updates.